about Mother's Meeting, how it all started and when it started and all the things that you did. Oh my God, it feels like a lifetime yeah, ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's like second nature now, so yeah. I don't really think of it I as know. being yeah, a thing. Yeah. So before being a mum, mm -hmm. I was a graphic designer mm -hmm. and I had my, I worked for a lot of big agencies, but yeah. I also, and then I had my own design yeah. agency, yeah. sort of PR marketing yeah, events. Then. Slash, slash, slash. And then I had Sunny, and I was so unprepared for motherhood. I'm like, you know, it's not going to change me. I'm just yeah. going to be a mum. And you see everyone with babies, and you yeah. think that you're going to just yeah. be a mum with a baby. You don't see what yeah. goes on, on behind closed doors. Yeah, sure. And um, I had him, and I thought, oh, my God, this is so hard. Like, So were you on mat leave, or were you freelance at that point? No, I've, I've always just been freelance, worked yeah, for yeah. myself, so hmm. having mat leave, my twins, no yeah. <laughs> Uh, hustling every day yeah, um, and so I had him and I'm like oh this is awful where's the receipt I want to take him back <laughs> it was like I didn't even know babies didn't sleep that's how, how unprepared I was I remember saying why would you be tired all they do is sleep and eat yeah. I had no idea so I totally get that and um, you get so lonely and I felt and I, I think one day I just said that oh my god I realised that I was like really lonely and really quite sad do you know what I mean you just but you don't know why, because it's your first baby yeah. and it's like the lack of sleep. Yeah, lack of sleep yeah. can like kill people. Oh my God, it's like Not a form sure of whether, torture, it must yeah. be. And um, it just feels like everything's a massive chore, isn't yeah. it? But you don't know why. Yeah, of course. It's horrendous at the beginning. So anyway, I was like, I need to do something for myself. So I looked in Time Out, saw a magazine, uh, exhibition that I wanted to go to mm -hmm. see. And then I was like, oh, right, I want to go to that one at Sunset House. Mm -hmm. And I designed my own poster yeah. for that exhibition. And it was like, meet on Wednesday at 11 o'clock wow. at Somerset yeah. House. And, um, for mums, like for other mums to meet I just there. called it Mother's, uh, mother's meeting. meeting. Okay, you called it that from the outset. Yeah, yeah. and um, just this meet, meeting up at the Somerset House because it was something that I wanted to do. I did, I, and the poster didn't have any um, contact details on okay. So it wasn't like an official thing. Yeah. It was like, oh, maybe, I was just, oh, maybe somebody might turn up. And how old was Sunny at this point? He was about six months. Okay. Wow. But I was like, oh, maybe somebody might turn up. So it made me go. Okay. And you know what it's like when you're a mum. If you haven't slept, you can yeah. just sack everything yeah. off and just watch Jeremy Carl yeah. again. <laughs> um, but I knew that I'd set, made this poster yeah. and I knew that somebody might turn up. Okay. So I like clean my trainers, wash Good my hair. Good for you. The night before, I'm like, right, we're going out tomorrow. Bit of lippy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. um, and so we went. And there's this like one mum wandering around with a buggy. She's like, "Are you here for the mothers' meeting?" Oh, and I'm stop like, it. "I am the mothers' meeting. <laughs> Come on, babe. Come with me." That's I so like, basically good. tricked her into being my friend. Yeah. And she's like, "Where's everyone else?" I'm like, "There is Don't no one, anyone else." <laughs> and then um, my friend Sharma Dean, who started mm -hmm. what nail wild well, nails, she came. So it was just the three of us because oh, me and Sharma yeah. are babies at the same time. Okay. And. Um, so we had a really nice day. Oh, this is good. I went home with a little spring in my step. Yeah. I said to my boyfriend, oh, you know, saw some art, been outside, mm -hmm. been out, you know, around normal people, doing normal yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Felt quite good. So then I basically just would look in time out, find an exhibition okay. that I'd want to go to. And get people to come And to design them. my own post for it. It's like guerrilla events. That's amazing, though. <laughs> and then slowly you just had more and more people meeting and me up with you. Because of my, like, previous role mm -hmm. as a creative and go to art college and yeah. things that like everyone I knew was sort of in the creative industry yeah. and I think the word just spread naturally That's so good. organically and now it's yeah. like the real deal yeah <laughs> but it's just me making up things that I want to do and inviting the world to come I'm like hmm, what topic do I want to learn about <laughs> this month That's, and is there an event every month yeah there's like three events okay. every month okay and is it still just you, or do you? I've got a little team, a little team but we just sort of, we're all in sync, and we all kind of understand yeah. one another's situations, yeah, yeah. and it's really nice to so like FaceTime each other, yeah, WhatsApp. Yeah, because that's also another thing about work, having to sit and do like a really 
official email when you've got a baby hanging off your boob or around yeah. your leg. If you can just WhatsApp someone and say, can you do this, can you do that, can we sort this out? <coughs> it makes everything a lot easier. We call each other and then it's like the kids, are cry her yeah, kids are exactly. crying or mine, I'm doing something. Exactly. I'm like, babe, we'll call you back in a minute. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. we always manage to get stuff done. Amazing. And it just goes to show like sometimes the, le the little amount of time that you do have, you get yes. more stuff done. I was going to ask you, do you feel like you're way more productive now? That you've yeah, and I find that a load of mums that have just had babies mm. or they're on their second or third, they seem mm. to get so much more done and their businesses seem to sort of rocket when they have babies. Yeah, I think it's because yeah. you have, haven't got so much time to like procrastinate okay. and think overthink things. It's like, right, I've got a spare hour, I'm just going to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You kind of bang out 10 emails yeah. and then you can go back to doing whatever it was you were doing with your kid before. Yeah, exactly. See, it's been on now for seven, you've been running it for yeah. seven years. Have you not taken any... <coughs> mat leave in those seven years with free kids. Do you know what? This is like really cheesy, but you know when they say if you find something you love, you'll never do a day's work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it kind of feels like that. But very hard with a newborn. Whether you love but it I've done not. loads of work with her. You, uh, you're amazing then, because it's bloody Because when hard. she was born, it was kind of like you're breastfeeding, so you can send the emails. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you send in the emails, and I'm like, oh my God, I've just made an event <laughs> that I've got to go to yeah, without even knowing about, you know, because yeah. I... Put events on so naturally now. Yeah, it's just for me, it's kind of like second nature. Have all the kids been to events, Sunny? Yeah, Sunny used to come to Lowe's because obviously he yeah. was the reason. Yeah. Lovely. And then Jazz hasn't come to as many. Okay. Because I think a lot happened with Jazz when she was at that age okay. where she could come with her dad yeah, yeah, yeah. leaving and everything. So yeah. it was all a bit sort of stuff going on. Yeah. But yeah, Sky's, Sky's been gone. Sky's been to loads. She's gonna be, haven't you, baby? She's going to be an absolute pro. Because she's such a good girl. Is she really good? Yeah, but it's all going to change soon, isn't it? When yeah. she starts wanting to crawl and. Okay, see, so I don't know. You're saying this, and I'm like, really? Because I haven't done it. So my daughter's seven months old. She is not moving yet. So she's really good. But if it's all going to change, oh I'm yeah, it's like that. you can't go to cafe. Do you know what I mean? It just you got to enjoy the moment. Okay. Because soon it's going to get... Yeah. See, I really feel like I've done manic in the first three months. But I guess there's always a new stage. But of I find manic. sometimes that when some people have babies and it's manic at the beginning, yeah. it calms down around six, seven months, okay. which means probably that's the place you're at. Yeah, where I think <laughs> if you have a really calm beginning, okay. it turns chaotic. About okay. Months. You just don't know. No. Every kid's different. We you just got to appreciate before. each day as it comes. Yeah, exactly. Because you don't know. And like you were saying before we started filming, Every kid will be different, every yeah. experience will be different. You might have had really easy feeding or really easy sleeping, and then your next kid. And you don't want to be, the thing is, you don't want to be smug about it. Because some people, with their first babies, they're like, oh, you know, I've got a really good sleeping baby. <laughs> and you're like, mm, yeah, that's going to change, because it never lasts forever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I think, when I say she's a good girl at the moment, yeah. in terms of, you know, she's quite calm and she doesn't really cry, yeah, yeah. I'm like, it could change at any point. How are the other kids with her? So you've obviously got Sunny's amazing. Yeah, he's seven awesome. and he totally understands he's got a baby sister. For Jasmine, who's three, it's been really quite a big transition. Yeah, I bet, because she's the baby. She was yeah. the baby, baby, and now she's the big sister. Yeah. And it's just, oh, constantly, Jazz, be careful, oh. Jazzy, be gentle. And it's like, I can imagine for her it's annoying, because yeah, yeah. she just wants to be with her baby sister. Yeah, of course, she's trying to kiss her and hug her and yeah, all the rest of it. Yeah. Like, but she's so heavy handed. <laughs> she doesn't know. No, so I'm looking forward baby. to Sky becoming a bit more robust, so Jazz yeah. can actually sort of yeah. play with her a bit more. And it'll be quite good for Sky, because she'll naturally have to be a little bit more rough and ready, because she's got two yeah. old brothers and sisters, so she'll sort of have no choice. I think that's a good thing. I always think sec second, third, fourth, et cetera, babies, are a little bit more like, oh, come on, get on with it. Because they've got older brothers and sisters, and you're a bit like, yeah, you know, not so... Pre yeah, yeah, exactly. Whereas I think first baby, you're so, well, I, was so, I am so nervous about everything. Really? Yeah, she's... Yeah, I didn't think I would be. It's so new, and I could never have been prepared for... Like you say, I didn't realise the sleep was going to be quite so traumatic. Um, birth, bloody hard, feeding, hard, everything. It's, it's like, hard. yeah, it's a new thing, everything. Uh, honestly, I think most people with the third is kind of like... All right, I have to send you a message when I get to number three. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Even the birth was like... Really? So what, good. better at number three? Easier yeah. at number three? Could have a dream. Was your first birth card? Like the exorcist. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the exorcist. I was weeing myself, wondering I had too much gas in there. Like a yeah. zombie. It's terrible. Yeah. But yeah, it's like, it's like anything, isn't it? If you don't know what you're doing, how are you supposed to know? And no one can prepare you. I'd, obviously, you have, the minute you're pregnant, everyone wants to tell you, 
oh, this is what it's going to... Like, trying to give you hints or tips. There's nothing anyone could have said, whether it's your mum, your neighbour, the woman in the shop, that will prepare you for your baby. Yeah, yeah. and they're all so different as well. Yeah. And that real loneliness, I think, it's that feeling of loving your son or daughter, but still missing a little bit... Of your old I life. Definitely... Yeah, I love my daughter, but I miss some of the old stuff. I miss... Well, it's hard because I think you have a baby yeah. and then your life's completely different. And no matter how much you try and do all the old stuff, you're exhausted, so you can't keep up with it. So then you're in this, like, you're stuck in a rut where you've got one foot in the old life and then you've got this one foot in motherhood and you're like, where am I? Who am I? What am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. But I think the best thing to do is to put your two feet into the new life and remember that it's not, like mother, we said, Mother's Me, it's not the end, it's just the beginning. That's very nice. I like that. And um, I think... Yeah, it's to embrace it, and yeah. it is massive ups and massive downs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even now with my third, like yesterday, I was really tired, and I was like, "Oh my god, I feel really shit today." But, and I, I like I woke up on Tuesday, and I was like, I had this list, right? I'm going to do this, I'm going to get this, and they're not big things. It's like taking things to the post office. Yeah, yeah, but that's a big thing now. <laughs> yeah, it's like taking things to the post office, sending an email, trying to sort. I'm trying to sort a mortgage out and okay. different things. And that you get to the end of the day and you like, haven't done any of it and you feel yeah. really rubbish for not yeah. completing anything. And you're like, what have, to, what have I done? And then you forget that you've actually been looking after a baby. Okay. I think it's so easy to get depressed and feel really Absolutely. isolated and yeah. anxious yeah. when you have a baby. Because, like I said, this guy's my third child and yesterday I could feel myself getting into that like hole, you know? And, but I know it's because I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, Whereas, yeah exactly. If it was my first, I wouldn't know that that's why. I think you just become more aware of like your body and your mind. What do you do to get yourself out of it? I had a massive coffee. <laughs> really short. No, I walked to the... I was like, lay down. I'm like, I don't have to do anything. But then I think, as soon as you think you don't have to do anything, you want to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, no, come on. And then we had a, had a massive double um, espresso. Nice. Did a lot, was up and down the high street, booked to get a pedicure, booked to get my ears pierced, went to the post office, got loads of stuff done. Amazing. And then yeah, I felt loads better. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's just picking yourself up out of that place that could get quite low and realising, hang on, this is silly. I'm just tired. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm eating crap food because I'm tired. Yeah. I'm not really chatting to anyone because I'm with my baby. I just get up and get out. And yeah. then suddenly you feel loads better. Do you find that either messaging or calling or texting the women in your life help? So the women in your mother's meeting or the people you work with or family, do you feel that helps? Or? Yeah, because I think one, as soon as I've always found that as soon as you're honest about how you feel, mm. everybody sort of drops the act. Because I think that when people come to mother's meeting, they're really nervous for the first one they, they yeah. come to. They come along and I'm like, oh my God, your baby's so young, how are you doing? And they're like, yeah, I'm fine. I was like, no, really, how are you doing? <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's really hard, isn't it? I'm like, yeah, it is, yeah. and it's fine to say that it is I hard. think social media can make you think that everyone's like, yeah, I'm fine. You yeah. know, you see these mums looking amazing, how they just popped out a baby, oh. doing stuff, and it makes you think, I'm struggling and maybe I shouldn't be. Like, but it makes you feel really rubbish, and I, like you so I put on Instagram yesterday, oh, I'm just really tired and stuff. But then you don't want people going, oh, are you okay? Are you mm. going to like... I'm fine, I'm just tired. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, I think when... Because I delete Instagram all the time, like you yeah. just saw I had to it's install it on my amazing. phone. <laughs> and um, so if you're feeling a bit rubbish and you look on Instagram, it is like... Um, Self-harm. Oh, literally. It is like self-harm because you're looking at it and it's like, so and so's trying on a really nice dress in Marks and Spencer's yeah. or something. She looks really good. And then you've got them in a really nice cafe, eating really nice exactly. food. She's talking on a panel. She's on a holiday. And you're yeah. sitting out there feeling horrendous. In bed with the curtains closed. Yeah, <laughs> eating peanut butter out the jar. That's literally my day-to-day -day life. And I think... I'm going to try and delete Instagram like you've said that you do. I think that's so good. A few last questions that I think I'm going to ask everybody. Do you have a life mum hack, like a little tip that is like, some, like a little word of wisdom that you would share that kind of gets you through? Either something like... Uh, yeah, go on. Go on, I know what it is. Go on, tell me. There's two, right? If you want to lose a bit of mum weight... Yeah, tell me. <laughs> it's not about not buying chocolate or biscuits. Okay. It's about not buying tea bags because then you've got no biscuit tea. you don't need yeah and you don't need you don't have a biscuit on its own do you? you don't you have it with a cup of tea yeah <laughs> so i haven't had i haven't had a cup of tea 
in the house for eight, like about four, five days, and I've lost a couple of pounds. Stop it. I have. <laughs> Honest to God. Because my thing is the biscuits. I'm like, Isaac, I said to my boyfriend, don't bring home any biscuits. Like, we don't need any chocolate in the house. But if we didn't have tea bags, those biscuits would just rot in there anyway, because I only want it with a cup of tea. Exactly. All right, that's the new thing. That, it, honestly, I was like, why, is, why am I not like craving any chocolate or any biscuits? It's because I haven't had any bit of tea. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Because you said you don't like doing interviews. Yeah. Sky, thank you, gorgeous. Oh, hi. You were so good. You barely peeped. Mm. Oh. So she's a good girl. She's amazing. Baby,